Hi, it's Nick Drew from Earth Movers Digger Man Blog. We're here today at the Finning Leeds branch. We're uh, going to be having a look at the rebuild facility that's here and how they uh, rebuild components and put machines back together. It's going to be a great day. Let's go and take a look. Here we are in the transmission testing room and uh, having a look at the 826 transmission and I'm joined by operations manager uh, Paul Mosley who's going to tell us a bit more about what goes on in here. Okay, so once it's been through the rebuild facility, it comes into the test facility where we then check it's operationally correct. So we put all the oils in so we can control the clutch fills, make sure that everything's functionally correct. Once that's done, then run the transmission for approximately nine hours, making sure that there's no leaks. So Paul, once you've done all that pressure testing, uh, it's looking a bit... Uh scruffy there, I, I take it goes for painting? Yeah, once we finish the test and we take it off the test bed, we take it round to our paint facility where it's then painted back to the original cat yellow and then we dispatch it out to the, either the customer or to the facility. Brilliant. Right, here we are in the uh, rebuild centre and uh, as you can see here we've got a, an engine out of a cat 6030, you don't see these very often, it's a fair old lump and uh, Paul's going to tell us a bit more about what goes on with this. Yeah, so this is the 6030, it's come in for a full overall, we call it the bare block, so every nut and bolt comes down. The same engineer will then inspect it for reusability guidelines, making sure all the components are good to do another life. Once that's all been done, we'll order all the parts to reassemble it. As you can see, we've got the front housing on and the back housing. Once that's been done, engine will then go for dyno test. Once it's been painted, it'll either go back onto the shelf for another customer to purchase or it'll go directly back to the customer that sent us it for a rebuild. So here we are in uh, engine bay one and uh, we've got some uh, components in front of us of the 826 compactor and Paul's going to tell us about what goes on here. So this is the 826 uh, engine that's currently being sub-assembled. It's coming for what we the, the, the level three option of our repair strategy. So it's a full overall. Currently we've installed the camshaft, we've got the turbocharger, the transmission coolers have been assembled, as is the engine oil cooler as well. We're currently waiting for the block which is in um, for salvage on the Rottler. Uh, once that's been done, he will then fully assemble the engine and send it through for dyno test. Okay. This looks a fair old lump here. What, what's all this about? What's so that's the filter base. It's been fully disassembled, uh, new gaskets, new seals, and rebuilt. So again, it'd be good to go. So here we are now, we're in the machining area and uh, Paul's going to tell us what goes on here with this uh, piece of equipment. Yeah, so this is the cylinder block for the 826. When we disassembled it, we noticed that the main caps were loose. So what we do is we bring it in here, we salvage the block, so we will re-line bore the centre line, so then it's good for another line. Further down in the machining room here, we've got some more components, as you can see. Um, what's going on here, Paul? So this is the inspection and polishing area. We've got some camshafts and some crankshafts. So once the engineer's disassembled it, he will then bring the components over here. The machinist will then measure the journals, make sure that they're still within specifications, record all the data, polish the cranks or cams if required. Once they've been polished, they will then go into the cleaning area, be re-cleaned and then reinstalled into the engine or whatever component we've polished. Apparently they don't just do you know massive earth move machinery engines here. Uh, this, is, this is from a gas engine apparently, so what's all this about then? This is a G3516 gas engine. It runs off landfill gas, it's got spark plugs. So what we're getting, we use the same process, it's a full disassemble, bare block. The engineer will then rebuild it and then we'll ship it back to the customer. I see you've got um, a gizmo in your hand there, what's, what's all that about? Yeah, this is an application for the iPhone, it's FinCam. So what we can do is we can record updates and send them directly to the customer. Any additional work that's required, we can also send them a quote. It's a great tool to have. Well, here we are at the uh, test bed, and I guess this is really uh, the moment of truth, you know, they've done, done all the repairs on the engine, and uh, I bet you have a sigh of relief, Paul. Yeah, for sure. Um, the engine's been through the facility, it's been fully disassembled, fully rebuilt. Now it comes into here for dyno. Um, we will run it at 25%, 50% and then at full load for an hour. Again, if we do get any issues, any leaks, any sensors, it's quite easy to fix here and we'd much sooner fix the, any issues here than it getting back to the customer. Brilliant. So essentially, once it's here and tested, it's a wrap. Job's that, good. That's it. Brilliant. Okay. Cheers. Right, well here we are at the uh, Winsford uh, Finning Depot and uh, we're, we're taking a look now at this 826 trash compactor. 
we saw the components earlier at uh, the Leeds depot and uh, I'm joined by Mike McGrady who's the customer service manager who's going to tell us all about the work that's gone into this machine. Yeah so we had the compactor in about five weeks ago we brought it in coming in a bit of a state and we uh, spent about a week cleaning it before we could even start work got the machine back down to bare frame uh, sandblasted, uh, liquor paint um, and we've started rebuilding now so you see the major components are starting to go back on it, the axles, the engine transmission are still away. Plenty of more hours left to go but we've, in all we'll probably be spending in excess of five, six hundred man hours in it. This isn't all the components, you've got some elsewhere, is that, is that right? Yeah, yeah, we've got some out in the yard and we've got some in the paint shop. Great, let's go and take a look. Okay. Right, well, we're now in the paint shop. As you can hear, there's an extractor fan, so that's a bit of background noise going on. Uh, Mike, what's the process of going on in here? Well, this is where most of the, where the machine spent most of its time. Um, as you see in the frames, a nice look of paint. We come here, sandblasted everything down, primer, painted the frame. That's back in the workshop. This is the remainder of the machine. As you can see, the blades there, um, all the handrails, all the different walkways and various different pieces from the machine. These all get a nice fresh coat of paint to go back looking smart. Right, well that's great Mike, but um, I've actually spotted something out in the yard which I don't think you've touched yet. Can we go and have a look at that? Well Mike, I can see you've done a great job on the uh, superstructure inside, but uh, my god you've got a job on your hands here, what are you going to do with this? Yeah, well what aren't we going to do is probably the, the, the shorter answer. Um, to be fair, it's going to be a nice new seat for the operator, new radio, uh, we've removed all the cab, uh, we're going to sand all the outside of the cab down and repaint it, so that should cover it, I hope. Brand new, brand new, like brand new. Well, I've got to say, um, I don't like the air conditioning much, so uh, it's time to head off. 